Kelly, what can you tell us about the training mission and how this all happened? Well, Monique, the South Carolina Air, uh, Air National Guard saying they found wreckage around three this afternoon. They found the tail section and the fuselage of the second fighter jet about two miles from the first one. Right now, crews are still searching for more debris, and the Air National Guard is telling us these planes crashed around 915 last night during a training exercise. The pilots were able to eject and basically walk away unhurt. Around one this morning, crews were tipped off to the general area of the first jet. Pilots later spotted the jet from the sky. Investigators are currently processing both scenes right now, which involves measurements, pictures, and securing hazardous debris. The Air Force should arrive within the next two days. They'll take over that investigation, and typically an investigation like this one takes about 30 days, they're telling people, if you find debris, do not touch it. And Jefferson County is also home to one of the biggest and the best air training spaces in this country, and specifically in the southeast. Um, they were training in maneuvers against warfare tactics, and usually people find, uh, if you look up in the sky, you can see them training for those for those tactics. And I'm going to give you a better idea of what this airspace looks, up, looks like. Look up, it's about 22,000 feet up and then how long is it? It's about 100 and miles, give or take. This area is called the Bulldog MOA. So I want you to imagine a big box sitting on Jefferson County. That's the space that these pilots are operating in. And people in Jefferson County, they are used to it. We had one man pretty much call it their nighttime music. I was very curious, especially after we saw the, the flashes in the sky yesterday evening, early evening. We were wondering, we knew there were flying, training. Uh, we first saw some in the sky over that way, some flashes. We were out riding a golf cart. At and Jefferson County EMA, they're also aware that there's constantly 24-7 every day, every night, pilots in the air training, and they're very aware of that. The director of EMA tells me that they were out here, and he, yesterday they were able to get the pilot, and they were able to then take military instruction. In Jefferson County, Kelly Wiley on your side. Thank you so much, Kelly. Lots of new information out there tonight.